Hello, and welcome to this little episode of How To with Forestry. What we're going to do is the very basics 101, how to chop a tree down, process it, and turn it into money. We're going to be using uh, a couple of uh, in-game bits of equipment um, and a couple of mods over there but what we're going to do cut the tree down turn it into logs lumber um, learn different ways of cutting the trees down and making wood chips turning them into money okay so first of all we're going to go to the shop and buy a chainsaw so it's in the menu but if I go to the right menu chainsaws Pick one, buy it, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so this is our chainsaw. So let's just go and cut a little tree down and pick this one here. So approach the tree, turn your saw, we're looking for a green ring to appear. If it's blue, go and cut it. But if it's green, press X and it cuts. Nope, press circle and it cuts. Triangle is crouched down. You want to get it as low to, poss low, low to the ground as possible in order to fill the tree um, and maximize your timber production. So this now fills the tree to the left. And then we just go along and sned the tree out. Sneddon is the technical term for, I think the Americans call it delimbing. But in the UK, it's classed as sneddon. So you just go up the tree, pressing your circle button, chopping bits off. Right, as we come to the near the end of the tree, there's a bit that we don't want. Um, and when you cut this off, it generally disappears if you cut it off small enough. It's too big, let's try the out here. There you go, that's it vanished. So, oops, missed a bit. If you kind of get it, go to the side and just zap it with a zero. Pop. So, there's our tree there. What we're going to do is just try and cut it into some bite sized pieces manageable for the grapple. So we'll just do a few. Right, so just leave that bit there for now. Actually, we'll, we'll chop it now over here. Just going to chop these a little bit smaller. Hopefully they're going to be nice small pieces to pick up. Okay, so that's how to chop a tree down with a chainsaw. This time, just the smallest in-game harvester type machine. I think there's one small enough for it. It only does little ones. So, turn this machine on. You see the head opening up. We'll go a little bit closer to the tree. Let's see if we can get this one. If I pick one that's too big. Right, getting close to it, press an X. Try a little bit. Oh, up a little bit. Yep, so we've got it there. It is a little bit too heavy for this. It's not picking up very well, but we've got it. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So, I'm not sure what this is set on for cutting. Is that one meter increment? Let's uh, go into the uh, menu. We'll turn on the help menu for a second. Pressing the left button, so that's in the uh, one meter length. So if I press a triangle button, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter, six meter, and then we're just gonna press and hold L1, opens that up. When if you press X, it's gonna cut it to six meters. Couple of different angles there. is a six meter log with the end disappearing so that's quicker i think you agree than a chainsaw but also a bonus i'm gonna move it further away also bonus is what's the bonus oh yeah it's in a lovely little neat pile so we'll get rid of that um, help window so there we go we logs all the same size and in a neat pile so one way of doing it is to walk up to your tree when your hand comes press the circle button you pick it up walk it over to wherever you want 
whatever machine you want to carry it away to the sawmill and drop it in like so. One way. Another way, while we're here, let's get that started up. Okay, so we've got the wood chipper running. I'll just quickly go and grab a branch. Pick it up, head over to the machine with it. And voila, in it goes. It looks pretty much too small to produce any wood chip. Let's just check that it's not um, missing where it's at. Yep. There we go. Why it's bound rolling back up, but it is anyway. So there's a little bit chip in the back. Pull this out as well. Might as well throw this through. A machine this size would generally take a sort of six inch diameter. Oh, come on! I don't think it's massively compatible. We'll grab one more bit so we've got a few bits of bits of chip in there. Too heavy. See the hand I'm pressing the circle it's not disappearing that means that log is too heavy. Yep it's all one log anyway. Let's see if I can go in the middle and chop it. There we go. Nice easy manageable size log now. Gonna move this again back down to where I need it. Just so we we'll get. Yeah, right, so we've got a bit of logs in there anyway. Um, a bit of wood chip in the back. Sorry. Right. Next. Another way to do it is you see there's a timber grab on the front. Oh no, that's not it. Hang on a minute. Let's get myself sorted out. So. We've got the forks on the front of here, which we're going to open and close. Let's get that right, Tim. It doesn't. There we go. Right. So that'll open. Terrible, terrible driving there. Drive up to your log. I don't think this is the easiest machine to use. I find that the struggle to pick up, but also if you curl it over a little bit, it makes life a little bit easier. So that sort of picks up. What we find though is it can be a little bit wobbly, a little bit glitchy, and there we go, it's falling out. So I'm not a fan of that at all. Let's get rid of this whole log from thing. Right. Not a big fan of that. I would much prefer using something like uh, a silage fork. Just seems to grip a little bit better than the actual log forks. But these timber cranes, I think, are the best. So, we'll get level to the logs. That's near enough. Come on. Right, I'll put the... Oh. Right, so after we've got level with the logs, we're going to put the ramps, the uh, legs down. So we're using right stick, left L, L1 and right stick to put them down. Switch with, um, you see the trailer, how it's got a number two on the little icon above the controls. That's a sort of control group number two. So if I press triangle, it turns out the control group zero. 
press it again control group one so that's jumped from the tractor when it was on zero to the crane now so in order to look good we'll jump out and get a little man in there so I can now maneuver this um, with control group one so I know the controls of this crane really well it's all about thumbsticks left one right one things like that and then a little bit of grapple he says and misses completely try that again I just want to get one, possibly two, at once. Anything more than two, and things start jumping around like crazy. So that's a nice little grab. Spin that around. Pull it in a bit, lift it up a bit, drop the top boom down a little bit. Manipulated in, not looking the best there, but that's it. Up against the bunkhead, not going to come over anymore. Slide it over, pop a little bit big for this. Might have been a four or five meter trailer, but here yeah, oh, it is what it is. So that's on the trailer of sorts. Probably not the best job in the world, but it is on. I'm going to use the grapple just to push it down a bit. I don't think I picked the best trailer in the world for this, but it was an in-game one, so I thought everybody's got it downloaded automatically. I thought it would do a decent enough job, so I think that's what the best we're going to get. Uh, let's see if I just maneuver it over a little bit more. Yeah, not the best um, one, but it's not moving. Anyway, I like strapping them down as I go it saves things jumping around and when you're learning with the crane it stops you from dropping bits off so we'll get this next one on bit too keen there I think quick release of the tension belts and then up and down it goes right so last two bits we'll get these two on Just not the best grab in the world but I'll turn it round see how I've dropped it onto that log there just keeps it off the ground that little bit just so I can get the grapple underneath a little bit easier One more, by far, the tidiest load ever in the world. Just trying to get it done really quick. Tidied up a little bit. 
So the way I like to pack it up is just to put that out straight a little bit more. And then just grab a log with it. And that just seems to hold it in place. Switching to control group 2, using my right stick, lift the legs up, jump off the crane, jump into the tractor, job done, logs are on. Off to the sawmill to drop these logs off. And you just pull up with the sawmill, put it in the hazard marked areas jump out and hit the sell button okay so nice easy so that's how you make money from logs you don't have to do this but some depends on what, what you're playing really you can get a stump grinder right and all we do go up to the stump turn the stump grinder on and pop it down a bit so it will take some learning but when you hear that noise it's cutting so that's it just leave it a go and after a few seconds it disappears different scum grinders have got different speeds some just go up to it and they disappear straight away but that's literally it so that's one tree completely gone and then in this let's have a jump up in this one We've got a load of wood chip there that can go to the sawmill or any place that takes wood chip. The icon for wood chip is that one on the bottom right hand of the screen now. Um, you don't make much money from it, but you still make some. So, in a nutshell, very, very quickly, that's Farming Sim 19, how to do logging. We're going to look at more forestry vehicles in this series, um, the mods and things like that. So. Hopefully you like to join me for that. You'll be watching Simply Jordy. Please like the video. Subscribe to more of the forestry videos that are yet to come. See you next time.